Welcome guys. In this lecture, I will quickly show how to generate Cypress test automation script in your current framework standards. Okay, not just generating a script, but we can modify that in your current framework standards instantly using Cypress Studio plus GitHub Copilot AI plugin. So I'll be using Cypress Studio to generate the code first and I'll show how to convert that into your current framework standards using Copilot AI. So first, let's get started to understand how we can generate code using Cypress Studio. Using Cypress Studio, you will be able to generate test automation script with a manual recording. So record your test by manually performing the actions and Cypress will auto generate test for you. Okay, so they call it as a Cypress Studio. So let's see how does it work in action. So for that, I just created one simple test without any Cypress code inside it. It's just a describe and it block. So inside this, I want to write a script, but instead of me writing Cypress script here, I will ask this AI studio to write on my behalf. Okay. So I will perform manual actions and this studio will listen to it and generate script for us. So for that, before you try that, make sure in your config.js file, just add this new flag experimental studio and set it to true in the end to end object. Okay. So wherever you have E2E -E property, go there and set this key value pair saying experimental studio is true. Once you set it, now we can go back and start our Cypress terminal first. So this command opens Cypress test runner, select end to end testing, select your favorite browser. So initially just see what is the test name you have given. I have given it as AI studio demo.js file with a no code. It's just a describe it block. That's all. So here is that my file present. I'll select this. Obviously there is nothing inside it. So it just passed, but on the right side, you see one spark saying add commands to test. This is what I am interested in. So select this and then studio will open on right side where you can perform manual actions, what you want to automate. So in my case, I have to go to this website, rahulshettyacademy.com slash client. I have to visit this and here, let me enter all my details. Okay. So Rahul Shetty at gmail.com and so whatever I am performing manually parallelly, you know, the automation script for Cypress is being generated. Now I will add this item to the cart, right? And then I will go to the cart page. So I just want to have assertions that also you can do. Now let's say in the checkout page, I want to make sure whether apply coupon is present. So right click add assertion is there, right? So I want to put assertion on the text level. So have text select this. So it will add assertion for you. So like that, you know, you can put assertions also perform all the actions, place the order and I have to verify this text is present. Thank you for the order. So I will just select everything, right click and you can put assertion again for that. And then you can visit order history page and view the order. That's all. This is my test end to end. So I will save this and that's it. It is rerunning all the test with automation code. Now everything you can see that and the test is passed. Okay. So now the same code, if you come back to your editor, you will see that Cypress have auto generated. So you can see that all the locators have been generated as well as the commands. So everything is in detail here. To have this thank you for the order text, I selected this multiple times so it has generated. So you need not one click is enough. So you can make prime modifications on high level and you see that assertions are also generated and you can use this script and further modify it accordingly your way. Now this is raw code. I want to convert this code into my framework standards because my framework demands to move this whole code into page object model. For that, we have a separate folder where we send each page associated elements to separate class. 
So this is the structure of my framework. Now, if I generate a standalone test like this, I have to end up, you know, modifying it accordingly as per my standards. So what I'll do is assuming that this is new application, uh, what we just automated and we want to convert that into our framework standards. I will take the help of GitHub Copilot plugin and I will make that possible. Let's see. So to get this Copilot plugin, just go to the extensions here and then search for GitHub Copilot. You see, I already have it. Just go to this plugin and install. Once you install, it will ask you login credentials. Okay. So make sure you have an account with GitHub before you have this plugin. And once you enter that plugin, it will ask the IDE to restart and that's it. This Copilot plugin will be installed for this IDE. Once it is installed on top, you will see an icon like this. All you need to do is just click on this so that a chat window opens for you like this. Okay. So before I give the inputs to GitHub Copilot, uh, step one, what I'll do here is I'll just give some comments that below code belongs to login page. Okay. So something like this. So I am providing better context to AI application called GitHub Copilot to generate code in the page object pattern, how my framework is expecting. So my ultimate goal here is convert this standalone code to the code where my current framework standards are. So that work also I have to outsource. So for it to provide better context, I'm saying that below code is to login page. And after login, I am saying below code belongs to shopping page. And then after you shop everything, I will just put that finally like uh, below code belongs to order confirmation page. Okay, like this, I am asking my gen AI to divide this code into three different page object classes like this. So that's my goal. So that's the reason I'm giving that uh, in this manner. All right. So now I'll copy this code and I will go to my GitHub Copilot. So first I will provide some information to my Copilot on how my existing framework is. So for that, I'll attach few files. So here you see there is a page object folder. You have a sample uh, page object files like home page, product page, all this. So I'll attach one page object file as a sample. So Copilot will know how to create page object file based on the existing page object files. That's the reason I added a page object file as well as I'll add one pure test also, which is written in framework standards. There is already one test in place, which exactly behaving in a framework standards by calling all the page object manner. So there is one test in place. So I am sending that test as an input as well as page object file as an input so that I'm giving better context to Copilot on how to convert my existing raw code. So my code is sitting in this AI studio demo, right? So below is my code. Convert this code, convert the standalone code we can say to my framework standards. by reading attached page object class and test file. Okay. And I will give my code here, right? You can provide all your code. And I'm just asking that you convert into my stand framework standards by reading and understanding the existing page object files, existing framework tests, all that. So you can I'll add more context. You can read comments in below code to decide how you want to break down. Okay. So I have given all the necessary context the way I am looking forward for it and I'll submit for my copilot. So before submitting, make sure that entering this information to LLM here, I'm using GPT-4 LLM. Is it allowed in your company? If you are just doing practice in your local, then it's fine. You can happily use it, but just check the uh, privacy norms with your company and what kind of large language models they are allowing to use so that you can select that particular one and submit this information. 
All right, so you see that it created login page for me, exactly the page object file, how my current page object system is working, you see? And then it created me shopping page and also it created me order confirmation page because that's how I'm asking my code and it created all action methods. Now this is the actual test. You see how it has converted? It has given me login page, shopping page and order confirmation. This is in my framework standards now. Okay, so I have given a sample test asking to see as a context and it has successfully generated me. This is super cool, right? So most of the people generate code by using Cypress Studio, but later, you know, they struggle and they spend a lot of time in converting into their own standards, but provide attached sample files the way I have attached here and then just provide the better context by giving in comments like, you know, move below code to this file, that file, and that's it. All the magic that Copilot AI plugin will do for us. And you can just create files based on this code and run your test. So this is how with the help of Cypress Studio, as well as Copilot AI plugins, you can make a magic of writing your test super faster using Cypress.